so lately I've been getting some messages uh, comments from people about like well you know not everybody needs to like going to the gym not everybody needs to like lifting weights you can be healthy in other ways you don't have to do this blah 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 blah, blah. for sure for sure but I want to make a case for resistance training for everyone weight lifting for everyone because I think sometimes we have a little bit of these convoluted attitudes about it like there's this energy I sense that people think like the only reason you do that is because you want to look muscular or something. And surprisingly, you may be surprised to know that I have zero desire to look muscular. That's not, I'm not like, okay, people are like, how many inches are your biceps? I'm like, dude, I have no freaking idea. Like my, the aesthetic side of weightlifting is not even in the equation as to why I lift weights. I lift weights because of what happens internally. And this is why I want to make a case for it for everybody. If you want to just, you know, walk or play tennis or, you know, walking, I encourage for everyone too. I think walking is for everyone for sure. A lot more walking than we're doing. Um, but I want to make a case for why I think resistance training is for everybody. Because it has never, ever been easier physically to be a human being on the planet Earth. We don't got to wash our clothes. We don't got, most of us don't grow our own food. We don't have animals we're tending to. We don't have physical work. Most of us can sit on our ass all day, every day. What's up, Keto Greg? I'm preaching to the choir. We got Greg on here. Shit. <laughs> um, but this is, this is why. Because when you are stronger, physically stronger, your entire life, your daily life, like going around, doing stuff, cleaning the house, running errands is easier. When you are physically stronger, everyday life stuff is easier. If you want to be able to protect your joints and your bones, what happens when an older person falls? What happens? That leads to the path to death for a lot of older people. If you want to be able to walk correctly as you get older, you need to have strength in your hips. You need to be thinking about how is my body actually working? And then on top of it, what's up, Brandon? On top of it, if you want to have good metabolic health, just go read Gabrielle Lyons' book, Forever Strong. She wrote all about this, the metabolic aspect of muscle. You want to be insulin sensitive. You want to boost all of your neurotransmitters on the daily so you have better mental health, better gut health. All of these things are impacted when we go into that gym on the daily and it's like, okay, that's really great. I, I mean, I highly encourage all these other activities people do. You like to ride your bike or you like to run or you like to, you know, um, play tennis or ski or whatever it is. That's really great, but is that really happening on the daily? And are you getting to an intensity level in which your muscles have to adapt and change? That is where the magic happens. You want to be able to like eat to satiety and not feel like you have to like diet all the time or you just are always gaining weight. That was my life before weightlifting. It was, I either have to be like super freaking psycho and go on some diet mentality thing or like, I'm just going to get fat. <laughs> and now I don't have to worry about that anymore because I got a lot of leeway from these suckers. And also because I get in there on the daily and I'm continuously dumping out the glycogen, the carbs that are stored in my muscle. So then when I eat more carbs, there's room for them. But if you're sitting on your ass all day and you're like, well, I ski sometimes, so I'm good. I don't need weightlifting. Okay. Well, what about all week long when you didn't ski <laughs> or play tennis or whatever? What happens then? Your muscles that are smaller become full of carbs. You're not utilizing them, so it's barely being used, and then you just keep eating more carbs, and you wonder why you're getting fat, and you wonder why your blood sugar is going up, and all of these things. Weightlifting is the freaking easiest way to offset all that. And meanwhile, while you're doing it, you're boosting all of your neurotransmitters that give you a positive mood. And then on top of it, you're protecting your joints so you're not hanging out on your tendons and ligaments when you go do your other activities. So I see in our modern world, 
where we can just sit on our ass all day, every day, pretty much, there are very few people that actually use strength or something that would require adaptation for their muscles in their daily lives. Very few people. You better be working some crazy ass construction where you were just lifting heavy shit all day or something like that. Otherwise, what are you going to do? How are you going to achieve that on the daily? You're not. And it is so simple and also so fun if you get yourself an awesome playlist, you get yourself some workout clothes you like, you get yourself a gym vibe. I'm pulling up to mine right now. This UFC gym in Hilo is freaking sick. Somebody's coming out of the entrance. All right. <laughs> um, it's fun on top of it, right? And so all of these benefits, weightlifting is not like I get this energy sometimes from people where they, I feel like they think like weightlifting is like just if you want to be muscular, just if you want to look muscular or it has like this like negative connotation, like, I don't know, like it's just this thing that's not for all humans, right? It's just for people who are into that. And I'm like, mm, I get it. Much respect to however you want to do your life, you know? But I just want to make a case for it for everyone. <laughs> I mean, I'll never forget. What's that guy's name? Colin something. Shoot, I forgot his last name. But this dude's a researcher who's putting women in their 80s, in their 60s to 80s, who have never lifted a day in their life, who have breast cancer. They have a lab that is a gym where they are increasing their metabolic health and having wildly positive outcomes with these women with not having recurrences of breast cancer through increasing their metabolic health through muscle, through weight training, resistance training. And if you haven't experienced this yet in your life, I can understand thinking maybe that's not for me, but I'm telling you as somebody who used to be overweight and ran all the marathons and was still overweight running marathons, Coming in here and making this a part of my lifestyle where I just get in and I bust it and I hit it hard and I get out has made everything so much easier. I sleep better. I eat better, right? Because it's weightlifting to me is that thing that it's like when one of my clients is in a rut where they're like, I fell off the wagon. I'm like, get in the gym, get in the gym. That's my, that's my lever that I pull because I know that if I can, can get them in the gym, they'll start eating better. They'll start sleeping better. Like their mood goes up. They can manage their emotions better because they just got this like drug hit of dopamine, norepinephrine, GABA, serotonin, literally every neurochemical that helps you manage your emotions, feel good in life gets boosted when we exercise. In resistance training specifically, the reason I'm such a fan, I love walking. I, you know, I ran for over 20 years. I'm a big fan of cardio too. But the reason I love resistance training so much is because that metabolic benefit in which now you're not only walking around life feeling stronger, like everything's easier. You're like, oh, I need to squat down and clean up and run up and down stairs. It's like nothing, right? But also in terms of being able to eat food, I used to see memes from women that were like, oh, like, I wish so bad I could, what, you know, just stuff like, you know, you have a choice. You have to either be able, be able to eat everything you want or look good. That's bullshit. That's not true. You can actually, if you, especially if you start loving healthy foods and like learn how to make them taste good, I eat whatever I want and I'm still lean and strong. And it's because of resistance training. That is something that I never got through cardio ever. I never felt like, okay, yeah, I can just like eat as much as I want to satiety and just like <laughs> not get fat. I was, I became dependent on the cardio. It was like, crap, I ate a lot today. Let me go run more. That sucks, dude. I don't ever, ever, ever have to worry about that anymore because of this metabolic machinery that I have built in my body. And it's not, it's not, you know, it's funny because like I get these like aesthetic remarks like, Oh, you look good or whatever. And I really appreciate that. It's super nice. But like, that's not my motivation of why I'm doing it. It's because of the mental health boost that I get the metabolic boost. I'm putting money in the bank as I age for my body to be able to work correctly. And it's freaking fun. I love going in there. I get my pre-workout going, my music on. I got my reggae blasting lately. I've been on some little, like, I don't even know what it is. Hip hop kick. <laughs> okay. And it can be incredibly fun, but the rewards are endless. 
endless. Um, how long did it take for your transformation? I went really in, okay? I'm one of those like kind of obsessive types, right? If I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna freaking do it, right? So I went really in and it took about a year and a half. Eight months of that was like, wow, I am like a bodybuilder now <laughs> in terms of my gym focus, but nothing changed in my body until I changed my nutrition, right? So you can be in here lifting and, uh, and but what I'm saying is, my nutrition just shifted to real food way, 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 way more. And all the things that I'm preaching to you guys all the time, boosting protein, boosting fiber, right? Eating real food as much as possible. My processed foods became like whey protein and cottage cheese. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so yeah, it took about a year and a half, but now it's gotten to a point. It's a, it's a, it's an evolution. It's a process, right? Giddy up for years. One of the biggest breakthroughs that I had personally was when I stopped giving a shit about the results and started just being like, I just love doing this. Come what may. When you fall in love with the process, you hear people talk about this, right? It's so true. Fall in love with the process and just, you can start to, the results will just surprise you. You're like, wow, okay, shit. I got triceps now. <laughs> cool. I don't even really care about that. I just love getting in there and doing it. Right. So we have, we live in a world of this very aesthetic focus in terms of health. Cool. That's reality. But I'm, just, I'm here to say like, if you will start thinking more in terms of how you want to feel and what's happening on the inside of your body, focus on the inside, like what's happening and how do I feel and what helps me feel better and what helps me feel stronger? What do I want my quality of life to be? That's when you start getting in there because it's loving versus if you just have this results thing where like, I just want to look a certain way and I'm not there and it's been like six months. So F it, like we got to graduate out of that immature mentality. That is a very immature ma mentality around health. <laughs> Uh, let's see, Brandon, nutrition, stretching, and definitely resistance training has made a big difference with me. Yeah, yes, definitely. So I think that resistance training is for everyone because we do not live in a world in which we are using our bodies the way they have always been intended to be used. I love the convenience that we have created for ourselves and our lives Super, I'm really glad I don't have to wash my laundry by hand. That would suck with four kids. But because of all of these conveniences that just keep increasing and increasing and increasing, I work from home. I don't even have to leave my house now if I don't want to, right? But because of that, we have to think about the impact that's having on our biology. And we have rampant, rampant levels of type two diabetes and prediabetes. You think that's not gonna be you? You think that if you don't proactively do things in your life to make sure that doesn't happen, that it's just not going to be you, it is going to be you. If you are eating like a normal American and you're not consistently exercising, it is most likely going to be you. We're getting closer to that 50% of people range. It's bad. All of our processed foods and our sedentary lifestyles. So basic self-care basic self-care is taking care. This is the only thing you own. This is it. Nothing else. And no one else can take care of it except you. And to me, some sort of resistance training, if you just want your health to be thriving with so much more ease, get in there. And all of this stuff of like, I'm afraid people are watching me and judging me. You got to get over that shit. You are allowing the fear of what other people think to block you from thriving that sucks. And I guarantee if you're doing that in the gym, you're doing that in all sorts of areas of your life. So use this as a practice ground. But I'm telling you, like, I don't know when I hear people say like, well, you know, I just like to, I just like to do cardio or I just like to, you know, do like my hip hop class. Cool. That's awesome. And <laughs> really consider resistance training. If you want your body to be thriving, you want it to be able to have excellent metabolic health. You want to be able to eat food and not have to worry about being fat all the time. You want to have good blood sugar management, good mental health, good gut health, all of those things. That's, get in there or build a sick ass gym in your house. If you have the means, <laughs> do I have moments where I want to give up? 
not at all. Not at all. No. Be- because for me, it's it's gotten to the point now where this is like the funnest part of my day. I really look forward to it. Like I said, I've built an environment. I, I have two gym memberships here in Hawaii. I usually have that. Now, I give myself a little pass on that because I do this professionally, okay? But I, I, sh- I um, go off the vibes or, or what's convenient for me. One's a little further away, but it's kind of nicer. The one I'm at today is Saturday. I got time. The other one's closer, right? So I have an environment I like being in. I've made it flexible for me. I have music I love. I've got just clothes I like wearing. I'm comfortable working out in. Got my pre-workout going. I've got a little flow. It's fun for me, you know? And if you can start looking at at it like that, it's, to me, it feels like when people say like, oh, it's like hard work. Yeah, yeah, it is. But like, it can become so enjoyable. That consistency is like somebody telling you that drinking your morning cup of coffee is hard, hard work and discipline. It's like, well, I'm actually like really looking forward to it. That's why I'm so consistent with it. (laughs) And you can get there. How much cardio do I do? So for the past couple years, I'd say I've just been walking. I have built that into my daily routine. I know that's not possible for everyone to do it as long as me. I don't always do it every day. Sometimes it might be like 20 minutes, but a lot of times I walk for an hour and that's, I built that into my work routine. Okay. I work for myself so I can build my schedule how I want. And so I know not everyone can do that, but that's what I do as, as I walk on the treadmill for a, an hour, most days, not every day. I probably won't today. Cause I got to go do some filming because I've got new stuff coming in the coach Tara app. Um, if you're subscribed to that, I got a glutes specific, it's a total body program, but glutes specific, that was the biggest request I got coming. So all the rehab stuff I've been doing for my glutes, plus a kick-ass training plan. So I got to go film that a little later. So, you know, on days like that, I will, you know, maybe cut my walking a little bit short, but we'll see how it goes. I might be able to swing it if I get off this Instagram live. (laughs) All right. Weight training is for everyone basic self-care this day and age in our modern world where you don't ever, you pretty much almost never have to challenge your muscles. So cool. You want to like just lose weight through like caloric restriction. Fine. But you're like really missing out (laughs) on how good you can feel on the daily, how strong you can feel on the daily, right? You can be bouncing upstairs squatting around, picking stuff up, picking up kids, blah, blah, blah. It's like nothing for you because you can deadlift 200 pounds. <laughs> you can overhead press some heavy weight. Think how much easier that makes your everyday life. And then your food, that's the thing. You want that ticket. You want that ticket to be able to eat to satiety and not have to worry about being fat and all that stuff. Weightlifting is a huge piece of that puzzle. And the other thing is also got to start eating healthy, like, it's, it's to me, it's, I don't know. When I hear people say portion control, I'm like, I don't live like that at all. Not even remotely close. I eat to satiety, but I boost protein. Every time I eat, I'm conscious of fiber. You know, I make sure I don't eat a bunch of fat and carbs and that's it with no protein or fiber. That to me at this point is like common sense. And if you haven't picked that up, let me be the deliverer of that message, right? But you combine all those things together and it's just like, God, you can feel so good and you can have so much freedom in your body and in your food. Why would you not want that? Why would you not want to protect your body too as you age? This is metabolic money in the bank. So how did that happen? How is there a thumbs up on my screen? Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to go kick it. I'm going to go kick it, kick it, and have fun. And yes, it can be fun. That is my message for today. Thank you for joining me. Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs>